So beginning our day, today is the 9th of June, 2024. It's my nephew's fifth birthday today. So he was, I remember my nephew was born when we were on Tudong. So it's uh, Ajahn Seik, myself, Tantisaro. We were on Tudong in 2019 and walking about to, uh, we had just walked on the Lost Coast Trail and were being driven out after four days on that trail. And then I got news that my nephew had been born. So now he's already five. Also, it's Tudong, Tudong season. <clears throat> so a couple of different reflections coming up. One was the reflection on Tudong, because since my nephew was born when we were on Tudong, and two is the reflection on gratitude to parents, just because I think my nephew has very good parents, my younger sister, her husband. And when I last visited them, it was last year, so my nephew would have been not quite four and a half. It was last August. And at some point through the visit, I must have used the word blessing or my parents used the word blessing. And after I left, apparently my nephew kept asking his parents, what does blessing mean? What is a blessing? So in a little birthday message I was able to send him, I tried to explain a little bit about blessings. And there's some blessings like having parents, having good parents that look after you and having enough to eat, having enough to drink, being free from illness, these are all considered blessings and things that sometimes we can take for granted until we don't have them. So sometimes when we wander on Tudong, we might not get enough to eat. We might not get enough, get as much as we would like to eat, but at least we get something. At least we get something. And sometimes we might run out of water. We might not have enough to drink. And that's something in the monastery, we can just go to any water tap, get some water, but then if you're walking or in some situation where you don't have water sometimes, it, it can be, become very difficult very quickly. So having enough to eat, enough to drink, is our blessings. And just these basic things being looked after. And now Tudong, uh, sometimes people like to think, oh, it might be nice to go Tudong. The thing about the thing about Tudong is, say, walking, living on faith. The monks walking with the bowl and robes, relying on alms food, and not knowing where we're going to eat or sleep each day. It might sound kind of like uh, interesting or fun to try out. Like a might have a romantic idea about what it's like, but actually, it's quite difficult. It's fun to think about or to uh, feel inspired to go. But then usually the experience when you're actually walking on Tudong, it can be quite unpleasant. And it's also fun to talk about afterwards, but it's, it's nice to keep it as a memory, but not as an actual experience sometimes. <laughs> and one of the, sometimes there's difficulties we don't predict. So one of the most difficult things is actually just getting along with your companions. So when when things are a bit more high stakes, like you may or may not eat depending on where you go alms around or how you go alms around. So there might be a disagreement about, well, we should stand here or we should stand there or we should go to this place or not go to that place. So it's, there needs to be a, one of the reasons Ajahn Chah would tend to not let monks who were more junior go to Dong is because the senior monks have that requisite letting go. Being able to let go of views and opinions is very important for Tudong. So for, for going, for walking, the most important quality to cultivate is that ability to let go of views and opinions and to just try things to go against our preferences, to go against our own way we might like it, to just go with the, either how the senior monk's doing it, even, even though they may, might be making a mistake, just to go with, because they're the ones who have done it before, they're the ones who know the ropes, so just to know that they might have a sense of it that we don't have yet, even though it might seem like our, our view of the situation is correct and we might not be able to see how the other person sees it, it's important to be able to let go of that, and especially on Tudong. That way we can, it, can be, it can become enjoyable and it can be a harmonious experience. And there will be those times of just walking, of just walking, and it can be like a walking meditation, but then 
if we're not careful, then the mind can start droning on. The, the aroms, the moods can come up and they'll be chattering away about it should be this way, it should be that way. And we have to remember to be able to bring our mind back to just that, the basic experience of walking. And so it's good. It highlights these uncertainties that we always have in our lives. And it highlights these kind of blessings that we have in our lives that sometimes it's easy to take them for granted and not feel so much gratitude for them. But when we, when those things are taken away and then we come back to a place like a Bayagiri, then we end up having a natural sense of, of gratitude arise and thinking, oh, this is actually, this is actually pretty good, good situation. So good to think about blessings, good to think about uncertainty, good to think about gratitude. These are, these are reflections that we, that we try to bring up each and every day. Leave that for reflection this morning.